Hello, my dear friends. Thank you for joining me today for our devotion. As we spend these moments with our Good Shepherd, we're going to th consider the devotion from our Martin Luther College devotional for December 17th, entitled, A Mystery, the Fathomless Faithfulness of God. And I read 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 24. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. Benjamin Franklin observed, In this world nothing can be said to be certain except death and taxes. The Apostle Paul points to something even more certain. He reminds us that God keeps all of his promises. If he says that he will do something, he will do it. He is absolutely faithful. Paul highlights God's faithfulness in our lesson today. After describing the future glory of those who have died in Christ in verses uh, 13 through 18 in chapter 4, he alerts us to the coming day of judgment and urges us to be ready in the first 11 verses of chapter 5. To prepare for that day, he encourages us to support one another and to remain faithful to God's word. He then promises, the one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. In other words, you are ready for that day through faith in Jesus. God has promised to keep you in that faith until then. God always keeps his promises. We can't fathom such faithfulness. It stands in stark contrast to our faithlessness. We daily grumble and complain about what God gives us. We frequently rebel against what God wants us, wants us to do or wants for us. We repeatedly fail to fear, love, and trust in Him above all things. For this reason, we cannot grasp why God remains devoted to us. Nevertheless, we have the assurance that the one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. Whatever God has promised us, he will do it. Are you troubled about your sins? He promises that, through the cleansing blood of Christ, he will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. That's 1 John 1, nine. Are you burdened with guilt, pain, or trouble? He promises, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11.28 Are you facing an uncertain future? He promises to hear our prayers in Matthew 7.7 7, and work for our good in all things, Romans 8.28. Indeed, while we still live in this world, we can expect difficult things like death and taxes. But because of our crucified and risen Lord, we also can count on God's good promises. For the Lord is good, and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Psalm 100, verse 5. We pray. Lord God, we praise you for keeping all your good promises. May your love, faithful love keep us devoted to you until your return. Amen. Well, my friends, I, I hope through all of these devotions this month of December, you truly marvel at God's faithfulness to save you.